Item number SCP-6149, Object Class Neutralized, Special Containment Procedures. Following SCP-6149 classification as neutralized, no further containment procedures are required. A cover story explaining SCP-6 A cover story explaining SCP-6149 regular appearances at Westminster Hall was successfully implemented in 1990. Description SCP-6149 was an anomalous entity active between 1949 and 1982. All eyewitness accounts describe SCP-6149 as a humanoid figure dressed in a black overcoat and wearing a broad hat and white scarf, obscuring its face from view. For over three decades, SCP-6149's pattern of behavior remained consistent. On January 19th each year, at zero ES time, SCP-6149 manifested at an indeterminate point outside Westminster Hall, note, a former church and graveyard, in Baltimore, Maryland, where it made its way to the cenotaph marking the original grave of American author Edgar Allan Poe, 1809 to 1849. Upon arriving, SCP-6149 poured and raised a glass of cognac and placed an arrangement of three roses next to Poe's cenotaph before exiting the churchyard and demanifesting. While SCP-6149's first known appearance took place in 1949, unconfirmed sightings of a similar figure have been reported as far back as the early 1930s. SCP-6149's existence was known to the public and received limited media coverage from 1950 onwards. It did not initially attract Foundation attention, as there was to this point no evidence of patronatural activity. SCP-6149's anomalous nature was not determined until 1981. On the night of January 18th, a small group of civilians visited Westminster Hall with the intention of observing SCP-6149 and attempted to pursue the entity as it made its departure. All present claims that upon exiting through the building's rear gate, the entity vanished. These reports were intercepted by Mobile Task Force Z4, with Class B amnestics administered to all witnesses. Addendum 1. On January 18, 1982, Four Foundation agents were dispatched to Westminster Hall in order to investigate SCP-6149. As expected, the being manifested outside the churchyard at zero Eastern Standard Time and made its way towards Poe's gravesite before being intercepted. The entity did not acknowledge any of the four agents present and made its way to the rear gate, where it was pursued by Agent Law. When asked its identity, SCP-6149 paused and turned to face Agent Law. Whereupon, it removed its hat and scarf. All staff present reported that SCP-6149's facial features were identical to that of the late author Edgar Allan Poe at his time of death. Prior to demanifesting, SCP-6149 spoke the following. Who else but I? Addendum 2. On January 18th, 1983, Foundation agents were once again dispatched to Westminster Hall in preparation for SCP-6149's next appearance. For the first time in over 30 years, SCP-6149 did not manifest, and no verified sightings have occurred since. At 0100 Eastern Standard Time, a common raven perched atop Poe's center turf, carrying a small piece of cloth in its beak. Subsequent analysis suggests this cloth was originally part of the clothing worn by Edgar Allan Poe at the time of burial, which bore the following land inscription, Incrum Postia, translated, Nevermore. Since this incident, no further anomalous activity has been reported at Westminster Hall. On January 19th, 2008, SCP-6149 was reclassified as neutralized.